first and foremost, I give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Brakatho Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Raka Kodash. Give double honors to our apostles of great millstone who taught us this truth and to our sincere brothers on the highways and byways bringing out this ministry and to our brothers and sisters including myself supporting this ministry Shalom yeah I just want to bring out this beautiful video here how our people are talented and for you sick minded people out there who think that Nigerians are not our people they are Israelites they're not Hamites they are a part of the 12 tribe sign they belong to the 12 tribes but I just want to bring this out this video how I'm so so happy to see the spirit of our people with talent because we got the talent we've got the gifts but we are being held back but one day it will be all turned over in the name of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. It will be turned right back over to its right form. Shalawam. Nigeria, an 11 year old artist is creating waves with his unique creations. From a makeshift studio in a poor neighborhood in Lagos, Waris Karim produces incredibly lifelike works of art. CGTN's Dejibad must went to check them out. He is arguably Nigeria's youngest professional artist. Waris began drawing at the age of six and turned professional at the age of eight. He describes his art genre as hyper-realism. You just need to take a look at some of his works to understand. His artworks are lifelike with great attention and emphasis to the minutest of details. I shall focus on it to get the detail in the picture and in the artwork. Anything in the artwork must be in the art and anything in the picture will be in the artwork that if anybody sees possibly see what I use for a photo and picture to me. And his works are not only special for their aesthetics, they have deep meanings as well, tapping into the daily happenings in his environment and even drawing from his own personal experience. A good example is this one titled Daily Bread. Daily Chacon Bread. On Pelican Card. Daily Bread, that's spiritual. The spiritual reality is that something going on especially my family. Then the sweat on it symbolizes hard work and struggling. And this spoon symbolizes. That's it, my brother. I love the way you speak. Right? You're a gift from Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Right? It's about the daily bread. But it'll be over one day. It'll be over one day. Realizes food that everybody to my sight. As Lego now, all my streets, the struggle, struggle, the sweat. I love your spirit. The then, in our family to struggle for us to go to school to eat. Despite going professional, Waris is still fine tuning his skills at this makeshift art studio in this obscure neighborhood of Lagos. It's an open veranda that Adeni Adewale, a graduate of general arts, you see, no matter what Esau puts us through, you know, right? We will always find that gap to come through. We will always find how to come out. Look at that makeshift, right? In poverty, and we still strive. That's why Esau hates us, because he's thinking, "I keeping these people down." And they still find a way how to get out of it. They still find a way. And even though we find a way to get out of it, we don't mean in the sense of we become um, 
um, flourishing and rich and take over. No, not in that sense. Esau wants to keep us down, so down that we can't even, if they had the chance, they'll stop us from breathing. But no, the talent still has to come out. Yahweh Basham Yashai is in charge of everything. Has converted to an art academy where he teaches young people like Wariz how to draw and perfect their art skills. He says Wariz is one of his students that he thinks is on to greater things. It can go far, far than even beyond our expectation. Because that's the most high. I believe with with what he has been doing, with with what he has been doing, he's going somewhere greater. And and like like we used to tell him that don't see yourself like a don't see yourself like a roadside artist. Believe you can be like you can. But the beautiful thing is, right, if this young Jake can ever believe that he is a chosen people, right? He's a special person. That would be so beautiful. That's all it is, is to wake up to know who you are. He has a beautiful talent. But if he ever knew and contemplate where does that talent come from? If he ever knows it comes from Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, then he's on to a winner. The true winner is Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Come on, my brother. Come on, Israel. Wake up. Um, you can have a name like Michelangelo's, like Da Vinci. So I see him like Da Vinci of our of Nigeria. He's better than them. He's better than them. I want to be a great artist. Among the great artists in the world world. And I want some of my hard work to be in the international museum. And I want myself in the ice place. First of all, my brother, give all your praises and glory, your exaltation your acknowledgement, who you are and where that talent came from and serve Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability and you will fly past everyone. But it's not about this world. It's not about making this world. It's about having certain talents and acknowledging where that talent come from. And then you bow on your knees to know who you are as a person, as a nation, and then you grow from there through prayer, meditation, and, 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 and teaching from your elders. That's why you have to wake up who you really are. It is beautiful to know that you have a talent, but it is more beautiful to know where that talent comes from. It comes from Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Do not let this world grab you up to use you, to use your talent. That's what happens to Esau. Esau cannot hold it down. But what he does, he says, okay, I'm going to grab you up and build you up his way. But in his way, in turn, he's harming you without you even realizing it. So if you wake up to know who you are, right and wake up to the truth you'll be the richest spiritual richest person ever okay wake up israel that's it's all about i'm happy and pleased to see my brother here no matter how young he is he's my brother he's my brother right he's no hamite some some people say that oh Nigeria is a Hamite. That is bullshit. I'm telling you from now, he is not a Hamite. He's an Israelite. Okay. And he's my brother, and I love his spirit, and I hope that he wakes up to the truth. I hope he wakes up to the truth to know who he is. He, he he's acknowledged that he's he, 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 about his daily bread. Right? He knows about his suffering, 
but only if he has the spirit, somebody to teach him where did that suffering come from? How it started? It started from Yahweh Basham Yahushai. He put that suffering upon us because we were disobedient. If he only could understand. That may sound like a dream for now, but here's an 11 year old art genius in the making who knows where he is going and is certainly taking the right steps on the right path. Deja Badmo, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria. But of all that, I give all praises and glory and exaltation to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. There is time to wake up. The time is now. People have been saying this for the past 20, 30, 40 years. The time is now. The signs are there. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is on his way. He is coming. He is coming. He is here. In the name of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Wake up Israel. Wake up. The signs are here. Shalom.